another field in flames. As the dry season in Nicaragua comes to an end, fires are spreading over large areas of land. Sofia Castillo is furious. She's an agricultural expert and says farmers are starting the fires. They set fire to weeds and brush to prepare the ground for planting seeds. She says it's a disaster for the environment. Right now, a whole load of CO2 is being released into the air. That has a really negative impact on global warming and consequently also on climate change. Farmers shoot themselves in the foot by doing this. They destroy the fertility of the soil, pollute the environment, and contribute to climate change. Nicaragua's farmers are battling the drought. In some regions, it hasn't rained for six months. Many wells are empty. Juana Ramirez is suffering too. Her perennial banana plants are drying up, and she can't plant corn or beans until it rains again. In the meantime, this rather modest-looking container is helping her to grow other crops. Project manager Sofia Castillo installs solar dryers with financial aid from the EU. This cinnamon, which is drying at the moment, provides additional income for the farmer. Thanks to this 1,000-watt solar panel, she no longer has to leave her cocoa beans to dry in the open air. That protects her crops against changing weather conditions and other harm. I just pop the stuff into the dryer, close the door, and that's it. It's much easier than drying it out in the open. Otherwise, I would always need to watch out for hens going after it, or keep it from getting dirty. The solar dryer also saves time, a welcome relief for a household with eight children. Ramirez often gets up as early as three o'clock in the morning. Her time is taken up working in the fields and caring for her family. Rice and beans form the basis of most meals here, and solar dryers go a long way toward securing these staple crops. A farming community in a neighboring area is also using the technique. Their solar dryer has a significantly larger capacity. They can dry some 450 kilograms of corn, beans and rice within just two days. Farmers use a hygrometer to determine when their produce is fully dry. That is valuable information. I once lost about half my crop when we had two weeks of rain during harvest time. I packed the beans into sacks without noticing that they weren't properly dry. And that's why a lot of it went bad. The solar dryers are manufactured here, close to the capital, Managua. The Austrian firm Kona supplies the components. It also holds the patent. More than 80 such units are already in use throughout Nicaragua, providing farmers with an environmentally friendly alternative. Our system allows us to use solar power rather than log fires to dry cocoa beans. In the Hualala area, for example, the forest is being recklessly cut down to provide wood for the drying process. Since no one is thinking about reforestation, the trees will soon be gone. One of the most powerful units in the country can be found at the University of León. The 40 square meters of solar panels produce a great deal of hot air. 
The university's Department of Food Technology is studying the solar dryers. Students and professors are testing out new farming methods, such as processing dried fruit. Dried this way, pineapples and bananas can not only be conserved and further processed, they also fetch a higher price. Solar energy helps farmers deal with other challenges, like irrigation. Cristina Lopez is installing a new solar-powered water pump. Up to now, she'd been using a diesel motor to pump water from the well to the fields. That was bad for the environment and came at a significant cost to the small farm. You have to buy a lot of fuel to get the pump to work. And if you work it out, we spend 1,000 Cordoba on diesel each week and take in 2,000 Cordoba for our products. What's left in the end? Not enough. Thanks to the solar pump, not only is her passion fruit growing, her profit is too. But the well can only supply water to one part of the six hectares of farmland. The rest of the fields can only be farmed during the wet season. Preparing the land for sowing is tough physical work. The Lopez family knows that slash and burn methods harm land. All that's missing now is the rain they've been waiting for in Nicaragua.